this, what you gotta do, you know, stuff like that. Um, thinking ahead, days at a time, just to stay on the body building regimen, um, and making the sacrifices. Like I was talking earlier, like training when you don't feel like training, and training when you carbs, and being hungry, and toughing it out, thinking about doing everything to be the very best you can be. So, so what keeps you motivated? Uh, I, I, 
still love it. You know, I, I still love to train. I still have to push my body. Um, you know, I'm not competing this year, but I'm training for my next show. And that's always in the background of my head. I don't know when my next show will be. Um, you know, I mean, you never know what's gonna happen in life. There might not be a next show. But I, I, and that's not in my mind. The training is just for me. And, and it's because I still love it. And I've, I've told a lot of the people in my life, you know, like my like really close circle of friends and, 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 and important family members that, you know, the, the day I wake up, it's no longer fun for me to train this way. It's no longer something I can do or it's no longer something I'm able to do mentally and physically. You know, that would be the day where I'll go do something else. I've always been a physical person, a martial arts, freestyle, BMX rider, uh, you know, aggressive mobile skiing, um, high school football. You know, I've always had to have something that I could put some intensity into, something that was a little bit risky, something that was a little bit different, um, something that kind of put me on the edge, a little bit of adrenaline involved. And, you know, maybe if it comes to me, I can't want to do it anymore, I'll start jumping on airplanes or Right now, I'm like stuck around at, at top speed. I'm not sure what it'll be, but uh, you know, I, I still love it. That's the only explanation. There's no way I could have done it this many years and, and, and been a national this many years. Um, and I often get people asking me, you know, you know, how do you feel about it? You know, I have the national title from 2007, which is incredible. I'm very, very proud of that. But people always seem to ask me about the six runner ups. And uh, you know, they seem to find that more amazing than a national title. Like, how do you keep going back? How do you, how do you deal with that? And, you know, like I said, sometimes